Hey guys, it's iTech every week. We continue doing a video that someone requested, and that is uh, how to record your iDevice display on your computer. Alright, guys, so the person who requested this video was trying uh, to use the display recorder, and uh, they would record on their iDevice without a computer. And, uh, you know, display recorder enables you to do that. Uh, but the only thing is, you can't edit it on your iDevice. You have to upload it to YouTube first, and then you'd have to download it from YouTube, and then uh, edit it on your computer then, uh, after it's downloaded on your computer. And the problem is, after you finish your recording in Display Recorder, it is saved on your iDevice. Now, I cannot locate where that is, but uh, right here, you can see I have iFile. If you can find where the saved recordings are with Display Recorder, uh, wherever they are located on your iDevice, you can find where that is. You can SSH into your iDevice, and then uh, just copy that recording onto your computer. And then you can go ahead and edit right in your computer. Uh, if you cannot locate where those are, and I could not find where they were, then you'd have to, uh, in, in this book recorder, it has the option to upload it to YouTube. Okay, so you can upload it to YouTube, and then uh, after it's uploaded, you can sign to your account on your computer, and then download it to your computer off of YouTube, and then you have to edit it on your computer, then you have to upload it again, uh, of the finalized edit uh, video, back to YouTube again. So that would be an extremely long uh, process and it would just not be convenient at all. Uh, so you just, that would be a lot of downloading, uploading, and it just completely be pointless. Uh, so what I would recommend doing is uh, using, you're going to need two applications on your computer and one application on your iDevice. So you're going to go into City and you're going to download Display Recorder. Uh, I'm on my second generation iPod right now and it's not allowing me to get Display Recorder for some reason. Uh, so I'm actually using Screen Splitter. And uh, the application on my computer that I have is called iDemo. Uh, you can see right here, uh, that is iDemo. I'm sure most of you have probably seen other YouTubers use this uh, program. And it just, it just shows, it looks like an iPhone on my computer right here. And then I can record uh, the display of my, rec of my computer uh, with something called ScreenFlow. Now, if you're on Windows or Mac, there are definitely different uh, types of uh, display recorders. I'm using ScreenFlow on Mac. Uh, if you're on Windows, I'm not exactly sure. I've never recorded my display on Windows. I'm not sure what you could download there, uh, but I would recommend just searching that on Google and finding uh, something that way. Uh, but again, like I said, I'm an iDevice. I couldn't get Display Recorder, so I'm just going to talk you through it. Um, I'm actually going to use Screen Splitter just to give you a, a good idea on it. Um, iDemo on my Mac allows me to use uh, either Screen Splitter or Display Recorder, uh, so either one of those will work. Uh, but Display Recorder, so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go into the application on your iDevice. And I don't have it here like I just said. So you would go into it on your iDevice after you have been installed from Cydia. And then in the lower left, it says Enable. You would click Enable. And then after you enable it, you go onto your computer. Uh, whatever. I think iDemo is for Windows and Mac. I'm not positive. But I, I do believe it's for Windows and Mac. So then you go on your computer. After you enable the web server on your iDevice in the display recorder in the lower left, like I said, uh, it'll pop up in here. So once you have iDemo downloaded, it'll look like this uh, before you enable anything like that web server. But once you enable the web server, it'll pop up in iDemo like this. And you can see right there it is. You just click on that, and then on your iDevice, uh, actually I think if you're um, using the Splitter Quarter, I don't think it has a confirmation, but Screen Splitter, I uh, just hit accept, and now you can see your, your display on your computer. Now, uh, the reason you need a screen recorder for your computer is you have to record uh, the area on your screen, obviously. Uh, where your where iDemo is. So you just simply record right here. Just preparing to record. I'm using ScreenFlow like I already said. Um, and now I am recording. Uh, you can see right here it says record time five seconds. I am recording my display now. And I can navigate on my iDevice. I'll just put this up here so you can kind of get an idea. So I switch pages. Everything works uh, pretty good. The spare recorder is a little bit less leggy. Uh, just as a recommendation, I would recommend the spare recorder. Uh, but the problem this person was having with the spare recorder is after you record on your device, there's no way to get it onto your computer to edit without doing all the uploading and downloading uh, process. Uh, so this would work a lot nicer. Uh, but all you have to do now is stop that download and you can go ahead and edit. And you can go ahead and edit it right on your computer. And ScreenFlow on Mac uh, has editing software built right into it. So you can just go ahead and edit it right here. Uh, so that is very nice, and you can see uh, right here is my iDevice uh, display. And if I do go ahead and uh, play this really quickly, you will see everything moving along. Let's just skip a little bit more further in this. There we go. So you can see I'm scrolling through my pages in here. Uh, so that, guys, is how you record your iDevice display on your computer uh, using Display Recorder, or Screen Splitter in my case. Um, but either one will work. Uh, you guys may not like this way just because you can't record on iDevice without a computer. 
Uh, I have no problem with it because eventually you need to use a computer anyway to edit it. So I see no problem with recording uh, your display on your computer rather than right on your iDevice without a computer. And I hope that helps anyone out there uh, with the problem of display recorder and not being able to edit your recordings after you record them on your iDevice uh, without using a computer. Uh, so you can do it this way. And uh, this way uh, would be a little bit uh, less convenient. Uh, but it definitely is uh, one way to get a job done. So I hope this helped anyone having a problem with Display Recorder. Uh, and if you do have any other problems or need any other help or have any questions, anything like that, go ahead and contact me in any way. I'll go ahead and put my email in the description. Um, you go ahead and comment on the video and I'll respond to you that way. Uh, but if anything was confusing or anything at all, uh, go ahead and feel free to uh, just contact me and I'll respond to you shortly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and like it and subscribe for more videos like this. You can follow my Twitter account for tech updates and my new releases. And that's all for now, guys. This is iTech Every Week, signing out.